What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, been gone for a while. Obviously snowmobile season ended and uh, summer's just been super busy so I haven't really put any summer content out there at all. But today we are installing a GGB exhaust on my 2021 Polaris Indy VR1 850. So, get out. This is it. It's a GGB trail can. So, we're gonna get the slot apart, put that bad boy on. So, yeah, let's get into it. Figure since we're putting the exhaust on, we might as well start her up. And here's the stock exhaust before we install the new one. So we have a little comparison. Um, obviously, I know there's a recall on our gas tanks. Uh, I did fill it up to a full tank per recommendation. So, fingers crossed. exhaust is significantly heavier than this thing. I mean, just a size comparison. I mean, way, way more space saving with this thing. I did see something though that uh, should wrap this to, oh, you know what? I wonder if that's why they did that. So I, I saw something that like the exhaust right here, this piece, sorry, this is really hard to hold my phone and recording uh, while I'm trying to show stuff. But um, anyway, so I saw something that like this piece rubs against the pole cable here and melts it. But it looks like the GGB put a, uh, a bar here. I mean, it's metal, so I feel like it's still gonna get hot. I feel like I should Add something on there just to keep this from melting. Cause I mean, let's just pop this thing in there once. So 
So yeah, it's definitely touching the pull cable there. I mean, even once, I mean, I know it's not directly in place yet, but. I don't wonder. You know what, when in doubt, look at the instruction manual, I suppose. It doesn't even mention the pull cable. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to burn that off. <sighs> Alright, well, let's get this cleaned up in here and then we'll. Okay, so I got it cleaned up in there a little bit. Uh, I got her set into place. Freaking. That looks way better. I gotta put the springs on. So with her set in place though, you can see the pull cord is rubbing up on this piece here, which I think GGB put this piece on here to maybe keep the pull cord away from the actual pipe. But I feel like the heat transfer will transfer from this to this metal piece. So if any of you guys have any idea or are running the GGB exhaust, uh, let me know if you guys had any issues or if uh, any recommendations to put something here to keep this pull cord off of it because if my battery were to die or something and that pull cord is fried off, I, that would really suck. So yeah, if anybody has any idea, uh, let me know because um, I don't know how I feel about that. I might do a little Google wormhole later, but let's get these springs on and get her fired up so we can hear the difference. All right, so before I put this thing all the way back together, I just wanted to give you guys a breakdown of how many springs there are. So there's a spring here, a spring here, and one here. And then on the original exhaust, there's one that went from this little hole here up or down to like right here-ish on the other exhaust. This one is the only spring that isn't reused as far as I can tell. So, you know what they say, extra parts, right? Um, this one was a pain in the ass to get to. Uh, I don't have a spring tool, but if you have a spring tool, it would probably make life a lot easier getting to this guy. Um, the uh, EGT sensor or whatever. Um, for whatever reason, it doesn't tighten all the way flush to this. I don't know if that's a big deal. Once again, I'm gonna dive into a Google wormhole after this. Um, any of you guys have any idea whether if that not that's important? Let me know. Alright guys, well, that's it. Exhaust is installed. Sounds great. Um, I'm excited to hear it rip this winter. I'll get some more side-by-side uh, -side videos of my brother's VR1 and, with the stock exhaust and mine with the GGB trail can and uh, do a little comparison video this winter. Um, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. There's no hope you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go.